What is the happy place? It's a confetti dome you stand in, a bloom room filled with plastic flowers, or the cookie room that has a cookie, all dreamt up by a dad looking to distract his kids. I struggle to do two things, to find things that are positive to do with my children and just enjoy something that I can enjoy, they can enjoy, and just maybe take yeah. their focus away from some of the negativity. Hello, hey, how are you? And while they say you can't put a price on happiness, tickets start at 3250 but this influencer says it's all about the image. I think, especially with platforms like Instagram, it's really all about photos and being really visual. So it just gives you something new to share, something that's bright and fun. And people love seeing bright and fun on Instagram. That's just the way it is. <laughs> the happy place is part of a larger trend of immersive experiences. From the Museum of Ice Cream to the 29 Rooms installation, the popularity of galleries where adults pose and play offers lessons for more traditional institutions. If part of your question is saying, can we defend the old-fashioned museum, you know, it's all, museums are mausoleums. They're places of dead things oftentimes. So how do you turn them into places of living things? So that becomes more challenging to programmers and curators. If it's art, it's really bad art. <laughs> Although the happy place didn't put a smile on the faces of these future curators. I think what the happy place could learn about museums is, it, is it, uh, accessibility. And if we're saying like the commodified version of happiness is only accessible to to higher class folks who can't afford this. If that's what happy is, like, I don't want to be happy. I don't want to think that going to my happy place is being surrounded by cookies. Like, to me, going to a museum makes me happy, I suppose, in a way that's more profound. You know, you see things that are different than you, and that's a challenge, and you have to grow. And that's what art should be. It shouldn't be a perfect mirror. But the success of the Art Gallery of Ontario's Infinity Mirrors exhibit suggests in the age of the selfie, the public wants to engage, whether it's silly, or sublime. One, two, three. Woohoo! <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, yeah, I will give you that. No, it's, it is strangely calming. Eli Glasner, right. CBC News, Goodbye. Toronto.